October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. In 2022, an estimated 287,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed in women in the U.S. More than 51,000 cases of non-invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed as well. Nancy Brinker founded the Susan G. Komen Foundation after her sister Susie faced a three-year battle with breast cancer, passing away at just 36 years old. Nancy has also started the Promise Fund of Florida, and she joins us now. Thanks so much for coming on today. You know personally how devastating a breast cancer diagnosis can be for families. What are you reflecting on this Breast Cancer Awareness Month? Thank you, uh, Emma. Well, at the Promise Fund of Florida, we are building a model which um, allows communities to take an active role in early diagnosis and screening uh, because many of our states don't have enough Medicaid, so we can't get people into primary care situation. But in Florida, we have, uh, in Palm Beach, Florida, to begin with, where I live, the third largest county in the third largest state, we have 80 to 100,000 women who uh, are uh, not screened every year for breast or cervical cancer. And that is a great uh, uh, need and a great interest of ours. And so we have set up a new program, uh, a new model that's working very well that involves citizen engagement, Partners, partnering with the federally qualified health care centers. And to that end, as of the first year, we have navigated, screened, uh, treated, and uh, uh, brought in for additional care if needed 20,000 of the 80,000 patients. Wow. And we will keep going and doubling that next year and the year after and hopeful to get through this uh, serious uh, problem by 2024 so that we can say everyone in our county has been screened for this disease. What an incredible initiative and goal that you have taken on and your organization has done. That, that's really impressive. Uh, what's been the response you. to your organization's work? Um, it, it's been amazing. We have uh, one of our greatest uh, uh, suppliers and um, also donors, uh, a company called Hologic, gave us a full 3D mammography screening equipment center, which we have placed in the federally qualified center in our town called Found Care. And it has increased screening incredibly, and that is because the Promise Fund, we also raise money. We now have a public-private partnership. We pay for the mammograms. We pay for the maintenance of the, of the equipment. But mostly, it is a community issue and a community effort. And these things are often faced better in communities, locally, right where people live. No one wants to go out of town to be treated. Right. And we also take care of some of the other things, like tra uh, transportation, food for the family if they don't have it. Uh, and all kinds of things, and this is our goal. Well, especially when everything is costing people more these days, to have a screening taken right. care of, to have transportation taken care of, uh, that would right. offer tremendous mm -hmm. assistance. Tell me about what you've heard from some women who might have uh, had early detection, right, and then they're able to treat it ahead of time to prevent it from getting even worse. It, it is, Emma, beyond a lifesaver. It gives them their life back because very early screened and detected breast cancer is almost 99 percent curable. And imagine the issues a woman of low resource has when she finds that she has a late stage disease because she didn't have screening or a primary care physician to say, this is the test that you need now to be done. It's tragic and it's a very, can be a very terrible disease. So right now, we're seeing over almost 300,000 women diagnosed with invasive and non-invasive breast cancer every year. And 43,000 are dying. That is just unacceptable. And when I think it's, this is our fifth year of operation, and we have had great support from our community because people understand what this is. And if you can detect a disease early, give a woman her life back and her future, imagine what that means for our country, for the families in our country, for our economy, for everything. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's been miraculous watching it. We've grown quickly, and we're trying to replicate in other cities because it is something that must be based in just old-fashioned good citizenship. Sure. Floridians really coming together around the Promise Fund. Uh, Nancy Brinker, thanks so much. Always appreciate the conversation. A good reminder for women out there to get screened. Appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. Thank you.